Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's continue with our series of text user interface. In my previous videos, I have discussed first four points till define and assign material using TUI. I have mentioned that you can practice by yourself writing a report for report definition. In today's video, I will discuss how you can use loop or if statement in text user interface for a repetitive task. Before using loop or if statement, you should have a basic understanding of scheme language. I will give you a really, really brief introduction of scheme language so that you can understand the loop or this if statement. Influent scheme language is used to write the text user interface. It is little bit different from the conventional languages. So in conventional languages, you write variable, then operator, then second variable, and it continues like that. But in scheme language, you will see a lot of parentheses. So first of all, every operation is performed within a parentheses. In parentheses, you always write first operator, then your variable, or it's called operand. For example, I want to add five and two. So I will write first plus, then five, and then two. So it will do this addition operation on five and two, and you will get an answer of seven. And you have to write this in parentheses. If it will not be in parentheses, you will get an error. And in the second example, your operator, for example, is minus and your variable five and two. So it will subtract two from five. This negative sign is not the sign of five. This one is the operation and five has a positive sign. So five, this operator, then two. So you will get an answer of three. When you want to have a minus five, when you want to have a minus 5, so you have to put minus with this 5. So now it will subtract 2 from negative 5. So then you will get negative 7. So that's how this scheme language works. So now let's have a look on our loop. Here I have already written a loop to define three report definition. I am taking the same example as before. So we have two stream. One is entering from here, one is from here and a mixer is leaving from here. So let's see, we want to define three reports, one at the in this inlet, one at the this inlet, and one at this outlet. And for that, want to define three report. For that, I have uh, written this loop. First, let's run this loop, and then I will talk about each and every line on this loop. Let's go on Fluent and see how it works. Here in the report definition, you can see I have only one report definition for outlet temperature. I have copied all that text and uh, let me paste over here and I hit enter and you can see it had defined three report definition inlet one inlet two and outlet three let's check what is inside in these report definition so inlet one is the area weighted average pressure at the inlet underscore branch that's good inlet two is the area weighted average pressure at inlet main and similarly if you see outlet 3 is the pressure at the outlet so you can see with this script we have defined all these three report definition within two or three seconds if you had to define manually so you would go over here then go surface report and then you would go area weighted average you will write name and then you will select so that you have to do manually for each and every report suppose if you had here 20 report it will take maybe 15 20 minutes or half an hour and with this uh, script it will hardly take 10 or 15 second even less than that let's see what this report says we can talk about here or come over here first line define is the internal function and it is defining i am defining a variable as i said first you have to write this operator i wanted to define three number of reports i have given it a name or the given it a value of three then i have a define report name i wanted to define a, my report name here i have written empty inverted commas because i want to define name uh, in the script when you want to define a list you def do like that here is the define report name report name is a name of a list and this and this list will contain the name of all the reports then i am defining another list cell zone list so whenever you want to define a report, you should know all of your cell zone. So I am defining a list 
containing all these cell zones. So my cell zones are inlet branch, inlet main and outlet. You can get all your cell zone name from here or whatever. Sorry, these are not cell zones, but these are surfaces because I want to define this surface report. Coming back again, you can see first it will check this one. Operation will start from here. It will come over here. It will see define. Okay, then it will look for some variable or whatever you want to do. So I am giving it a name cell zone and this uh, apostrophe it is used to define a list. So I am defining a list containing all the name of my all three surfaces. Then I want to loop over all these three uh, surfaces to define my report. So it always start with do. So I am saying I want to do a loop and here here I am defining a loop iteration here C is the variable name it could be anything and X C so it will be just the loop counter it's a variable that's a loop counter and it will start from here so I have defined a loop so that will start from C and its value is 1 so then in the next parenthesis what will happen and there will be an increment plus in the C by 1 so first loop will start with one then it will come back it it will add one in the C then it will be two and it will continue so up till when it will continue then it says greater than C when C will be greater than number of reports have how many number of reports three C will be one two three then it will come back over here it will check C will be four and number of reports three now C is greater than number of reports so it will stop so it means this loop will continue for three iteration so if i will write over here 10 so it will continue for 10 iteration i think this line is clear now i just added this one uh, you don't need to add this one in instead of adding this if loop you could do other way around so we will check how you could do so but what i am doing here i am just want to define my report names I'm saying if C is less than three, when C is less than three, you don't need to write over here. When C is less than three, it will use this operation. Otherwise, it will continue with this operation. It is starting a statement or starting a loop set. So set is just to define something or setting a name or anything. So you want to set something. So here I had defined this set and report name. So I am setting the name in the list in my report, which I have defined over here, report name. And string append. String append, what is this doing? It is appending a stream. To what? So I have said, here is my string. And then number to string C. It is converting number to string. And which number C? C, we have a number which is coming over here and this operation so it will start from here what this bracket will do it will convert c into a string so see we had a number and this operation is converting number into strings here we will get a one as a string then this bracket will finish this one and this one let me write over here then we will left with this bracket just let me make it uh, over here and it will convert into one and one will be a string as i said this or this one will convert c into a string of one and then the second operation will start string append it will append these two strings so it will become inlet underscore one so now you get this string so here it is setting so your report name it is becoming this inlet one now your report had one entry for c is equal to one then it will not calculate this one because it will be calculated once the c will be greater than two then here we have a defined zone name so here we had defined the list but uh, from this list we want to pick one entry in each loop so we do this one through this line list reference so we are referencing a list which list cell zone list so we are referencing this list and this one is defining the location 
plus c minus 1. In first loop, c is 1 and minus 1 is 0. Indices will start from 0, 1 and 2. When in first loop, list reference will pick a value from cell zone list which will be at 0 index. That's how we are defining our zone name. So it means in first loop, we have defined our inlet which will be inlet 1 and we are picking first entry from this one which will be inlet branch. And then here comes our command. So I am not going into the detail of this command because this command you can write by yourself by following my previous video. It is as similar as we did before. But here are few things in this command. Here I have written uh, this sign with A. This one is used as a placeholder. This one and this one. So it means I am not giving its value over here. But this value is given at the end after comma. Uh, sorry after this inverted commas so it means this one is the placeholder it will execute this entire command and it knows i have a placeholder one over here and one placeholder here so first placeholder will take first variable second placeholder will take second variable and the first variable is the zone name sorry report name report name we have defined over here that would be inlet one and the second placeholder that is the zone name and zone name we have defined over here that will be at zero index and that will be our inlet branch and then we have over here comma comma is used when you know when we are writing some command so sometimes we hit enter or we accept the default condition so this comma is used to accept the default condition and this one this entire thing, this one is used just to write this entire command in a single line as a string. When is the just formatting, there is nothing special. It's just a way of writing this entire command. Formatting and it is text interface menu load string. So it is loading this entire string. It means it will define all these one and it will come over here, solve, report, definition, add, so this entire command will be executed. It need report name. Oh, sorry. Here is a placeholder. This placeholder equivalent to report name and report name. I have told you how it will come over here in this one. And similarly, zone name that will come from here. And as I said before, you don't need to do this loop for that. Uh, you can do in the similar way. Uh, for that for example uh, you don't need to do this one and uh, you don't need to do this entire thing yes so you can define let's say another list but that will be your port uh, definition list and let's say you want to give them the same name or you can use whatever name so let's keep same name and then you have to pick one entry in each loop from this report definition list. So I'm just copy pasting this one. Define zone name. And here I will use, uh, here I have to give this name, let's call them report name because I have used that variable. Report name because here this variable is this one. List reference, we are referencing this list. And I can reference this list and that's it we are good to go so let's try this one before that i have to delete uh, no i don't need to delete because now i am using different name so remember if uh, you have the report definition with the same name so you will get an error and here i have used different name so i don't need to delete so let me copy all these and i can paste over here and hit enter and you can see it had it has defined these three inlet branch inlet main and outlet so that's how you can use loop or if statement in your text user interface i hope it was clear and useful and if you have any question or anything doesn't make sense so you can always leave a comment below i would be happy to help 
and that's it for today thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video